hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and a new series playing as in Old Valyria, Storm King Baldric the Third, Durandon, head of the Stormlands and also of the Trident. Strangely enough, I thought we would do something a little bit different today. This is uh, not something that I have done before playing the Stormlands um, as the Storm King. So, to Highgarden we have, obviously, uh, Garland Gardener, the beast that is. In uh, the rock we've got Tommen the Lion King. In the Vale we've got John Aaron. In the north we have Jorah Stark, who's actually got pretty rubbish stats. I do apologise for your stats, my friend. Uh, in the Iron Isles, they are led by King Cor Corwin the Cunning Whore, who has the Driftwood Crown. In Dawn, they are led by Prince Tristan of Dawn, a Martell. The Martells just never seem to have lost Dawn, as far as I can tell, but I'm sure someone will let me know if they know otherwise. So that is the uh, scenario that we're in. If this is something you'd like to see more of, then please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all those good things to let me know that it's something you'd like to continue watching. So without further ado, let's have a quick look here. The Century of Blood, the Valyrian Freehold has collapsed. A doom has befallen the peninsula that means Valyria is now gone and the Freehold destroyed. It's said that the fire and smoke were so hot that even the dragons have been consumed. The destruction of Valyria has strongly reduced the number of dragon lords left in the known world. House Targaryen had already relocated to Dragonstone. Some other dragon lords, those who had not been in Valyria when the doom occurred have survived as well. So we have Aenar Targaryen who does have a dragon and is uh, entirely independent. So he's someone we need to bear in mind. The destruction of Valyria has left a power vacuum in Essos. Orion, a dragon lord who has been visiting Cahor, has proclaimed himself the first emperor of Valyria and raised forces from the Cahoric Volantis, the mightiest of the nine free cities and laid claim to Valyria's empire. Meanwhile, there are rumours of Dothraki riding out of the east. There will surely be struggle and chaos. So I will pop a link in the top right to the uh, new Valyrian Empire playthrough that we are doing, in which we are playing as Emperor Orion. So do check that out if that's something you're interested in. So let's check out Baldrick. Let's have a quick... Uh quick look here and whenever I say Baldrick it does make me think of Blackadder so uh, I do apologize <laughs> we have the Storm King in the Treasury which is the ancient crown of the Durandan Kings we've got special actions we can designate a title heir for the Lordship of Blackwater Bay to be given to our son and heir who is uh, Eric not that formidable sadly but you know he is what he is we can also create the High Lordship of Blackwater Bay, which won't cost us any money and will give us some free prestige, so I might well do that. Similarly, we need to choose an ambition. Now, my wife is 57, I'm 63. Let's face facts, we're not going to be having any more children. So it might be worthwhile improving press, uh, sorry, diplomacy just to get a little bit of prestige. The fact that we own two ki kingdoms, though, does not necessarily mean we will be the strongest kingdom. Uh, Tommen, 27k troops, he's looking a lot brighter than we are. Garth has got 17, and in the south, Dawn's looking a little bit weak with just 10. Vale's got about 16, so we are about average, I would say. Um, now, why are we so weak? Well, a lot of our lords are just apathetic towards us. They're not that fast. They're not going to give me that many troops because, quite frankly, Baldrick's uh, stature at the moment is not that great. 850 prestige, not giving us a lot of uh, great things. Let's create the High Lordship of Blackwater Bay 
and then let's grant Eric Blackwater Bay itself because then that at least gives him the opportunity to improve his prestige etc etc so our seat of course is in Storm's End which gives us a decent level of troop retinue we're not earning much money which is surprising because we do have two kingdoms Riverrun is owned by the Tully so they may well want the kingdom for themselves in terms of uh, who we've got where we've got the Queen as Master of Laws which I quite like Master at Arms though ah, it's got to be a bit better than 16 come on we can do better than that let's see who in the realm we could possibly invite and if we can pick up a Oh, a genius. Hello, yes, please come to court. Thank you. General, who is a Stark and brother to King Jorah, is willing to come on in. Uh, Brandon. I don't know what's going on there, but he appears to be just some flooring. No one with a dragon, surprisingly. But of course, the dragon lords are that much more rare. Uh, so we will set, ah, now let's have a look, rank, who is going to give me the most troops, the Bay of Crabs, no, you've not got that much, Seaguard would probably do a decent amount, but I suspect, I'm looking at Tarth, 3k, River Run, how many will you give, 6k, so we want a good relationship with you, so let's send her there. Uh, we also want to collect some taxes. Presumably you are the best, yep. Master of Whisperers is indifferent to me, so let's just give him the title of Keeper of Swans to make sure he's positive. Uh, our Meister is not particularly great, but he's a competent scholar, so we'll accept it. And Cracklaw Point is entirely independent, and we do have an opportunity to force vassalization against them. And I think that will be our first act. It seems a little foolish to have them entirely independent to the east. So, that will be our first act. Let's uh, declare war on Lord Lucifer. Force vassalization. I'm sure everyone will honour their obligations. High Lords... What will you give me? River Run, what will you give me? A thousand troops, and he has about 1k, so I guess we'll just use the troops from Stormlands for now. And uh, head on across. Perhaps Haystack Hall will be a quick reinforcer for us. But without further ado, let's begin. My vassals are viewing me with respect, which is good to hear uh, we'll make Eric our regent we also need to appoint a new commander in the form of Carl King's Justice Willem Paramount Knight can be the Lord of Seaguard High Admiral uh, it's got to be someone of high rank, obviously. Not Summerfield. Maybe the phrase. Why not? Cupbearer, Bay of Crabs, High Almoner, Griffin's Roost, Master of the Hunt, Blackwood, Master of the Horse, Wayfarer's Rest, just to get you in the positive. So all of our titles there dealt with. All hail his grace, Baldrick of the house Durandon, the third of his name, Storm King of the Trident and Lord of the Riverlands, Lord of Storm's End and Protector of the Realm. Now hopefully, young uh, Tommen here does not declare war on me. He does have Bright Roar, which is going to be helping him a lot. We don't have any such Valyrian Steel weapon. All of my sons have joined the black, really. Apart from Eric. Well, we need to get some alliances. So if we can get an alliance with her, that would be pretty good. She's also a good fighter. That'll give me an alliance with Garth. Sorry, Garland Greenhand. Which I would quite like. 
so she's left that's fine if she wants to leave she can leave I'm hoping he will accept oh Jor has been joined in this war well that's not so good Roderick Stark is currently under my control let's just say it's not his fault It does mean, however, we are going to actually have to call our troops up fully. So, let's get everyone that's not currently going to go to. You're going there, and you're going there, and you're going to go straight for Cracklaw Point for me. Everyone else is going to head south. And form a main force in case the north decides to come south. Uh, we can also appoint a couple more fighters to our bodyguard. Garth, have you accepted my alliance? Or is is that just not happening? Sorry, Garland, I keep calling you Garth. Uh, let's get... Let's just pause get you guys merged and get you heading over to start sieging to all my subjects the inheritance of dawn has been thrown into question all gather in sunspear dawn recently fell into a period of uh i don't even know what that word is interregnum with the Great Council of the Nobles being called to determine their heir, Oberyn Toland has been backed as the heir. Wow. So it is already out of the Martell's hands. That's uh, pretty quick. So we have about 20k troops. We've got a good force forming here. Let's ask my uh, son to join us quickly. Fighting across the field, you see an enemy soldier cut off from the others. Lucifer of Cracklaw Point has a skill of 95. Uh, let's hope Sir Devon can deal with it. <laughs> you look on in horror as Sir Devon falls to Lord Lucifer, crumpling to the ground, his cloak stained with blood. Lord Lucifer slowly advances on you. Oh God. <laughs> Please don't kill me. The duel ends in a draw, thank God. Well, let's get rid of his army and then start sieging Cracklaw Baron. Ah, and some uh, hedge knights have joined us. Excellent. We've taken Erin Mount, but Lord Lucifer is not here. Well, we accept that. We uh, kind of knew that would be the case. Let's just keep on sieging through their lands. Oh, bear with. Oh, no. Tommen's gone and declared war on us. Well, it's a good thing we have our forces up and running. What I could do with, though, is some better better chaps joining us. With better marshal, but no one is going to. In which case, then, we need to end this war with the north and Cracklaw Point pretty quickly. Got our forces assembled here, but we're going to need better uh, better troops than that. Before we continue in the war, what is good area for us to sit in? Hills. Do you have any mountainous areas? You're mountainous. Right, head straight to Maya. You guys reinforce up here. Because he has lost a few troops to attrition. A raven has arrived from Lord Adam at Rathrock. He's announced a wedding between Sir Joffrey Gower and Serena. Fine. We don't really care. Siege of Diaden continues. You want to be a commander. Instead of Clearden. Fine, because you're a high lord. I don't want to annoy you. Ooh, we could have grabbed... Could have grabbed him there. I wonder, can we go straight to Casterly Rock, maybe? We might have been able to catch uh, Tom and by surprise here. I am losing a lot of troops to attrition. 
is not so good. Oh god, he's got 30k troops coming my way. Oh, <laughs> this is grim. Right, let's just slow it right down. Is Tommen in here? Yes, but he's in hiding. So we're going to be sieging Casterly Rock. You guys just end this war quickly for me, please. He's taking back some of his land, so we need to kick you out. Pretty pronto. Right. And a little more siege here will do it. Is it worth me going for Casterly Rock, or is it worth me trying to attack one of his armies? I mean, possibly one of his armies, but... Let's wait and see. My vassals now still view me with respect. Oh god, Castly Rock is level 18. What fortress level are you? Storm's End is 14 only. Let's build the castle town and get some income coming in. Right, he's already at 16%. Is he going to come back towards Castly Rock? He may well do. Nearly done with the Whispers, and that's going to do it. That's the peace that we need from the north, thank you. So you guys are now with us. Will you give me any troops? A couple of hundred. We could do a cheeky guerrilla tactic here. What's he actually going for? What's his claim on the Stony Sept? Okay, well if we go and take that back, then we'll be alright. Castle Rock Siege is going to just take forever. And he is coming my way. So let's get our main folks in position in our main army. Because quite frankly, you're not needed. Let's get our Spy Master over here as well to give me... Sight on where troops are coming. So he is coming towards Casterly Rock to try and save it, interestingly enough. Now, Pink Maiden, guys. Yeah, he's going to engage. I'm surprised he's going to engage, but let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Fighting across the field, we see an enemy soldier in the form of Lord Ashmark. Let's try and kill him. We may well die here. Ooh, he considers our yield. Let's try and roll. Oh, not going very well. He considers our yield. And we actually die. God damn. Well, Baldrick there didn't last a long time. And is that the end of the war? Or is that just the end of the army? Uh, we'll leave his stuff there. Damn, that's a, that's a real shame. So we're now as Eric. I mean, it was probably a little bit too ambitious to try and get him to kill the Lord of Ashmark, but you know what? We gave it a go. I need to see what's going on here. Uh, did we lose the battle? Yeah, we even lost the battle. That's not good. Well, we're going to take Stony Sept back. So we might be able to get away with a white piece if we can get away with just taking everything back that he takes. Uh, Spymaster, you're giving me vision up to a point. You're there. So if you're in Pink Maiden, we can see here. You might be able to get Pink Maiden before his army comes. It's going to be literal hit and run. Okay, now run. You guys are going to have to flee. Garth, did you ever give me that alliance? Uh, no, you're not willing to. What about if I give you this? <laughs> give you the crown, no. Alright. I think 
it may well be worth us surrendering Stony Sept to Lauren here. Yeah, he's got too many troops, really. What will we lose? 100 prestige. Ah, let's just surrender it. He can have it. He can have it. We need to rebuild. We got a gain in Cracklaw Point, but we made a loss in Stony Sept, which, you know, is disappointing, but we got to count our losses and move on. We have a new king. We have a new world to rule over. We also need to appoint a council. So the Dowager Queen, no. We're going to have Edmund. We're going to have as many High Lords as possible take on positions because it's important we can get as much uh, support from them and levy from them as possible. Master of Whispers, you really do not like me. What if I send you a little gift? That at least gets you on side for now. And uh, who's really low? What about Haystack Hall? How are they? Not that keen on me. So let's get improving relations with them. And let's just try and build ourselves up. And not get bullied by the Lannisters. We do need to forge ourselves an alliance with someone. Maybe the Vale. Maybe the Vale. We have some grandkids. Or in fact now some, some children themselves. Princess Mina. But he won't give me an alliance. Base reluctance. So let me know in the comments who do you think we should try and forge an alliance with. Uh, I will have to end the episode there. If you're enjoying the series, then please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all those good things. And in the meantime, I will see you all in the next episode. Hello.